Hello everyone and welcome back to the New York Jets franchise as Season 6 continues. Week 16 has a special challenge for the Jets, meeting the number 3 team in the AFC. The Baltimore Ravens are sitting at 10-4 tied with the Bills and Titans and are the leaders in the AFC North. The Ravens are stacked with talent this season on their way to a Super Bowl appearance and aren't intimidated at all with the Jets' top five defense. And let's face it, with talent like Lamar Jackson, Leonard Fournette, and Antonio Brown on offense, and Olivier Vernon, Michael Pierce, and Earl Thomas III on defense, the Ravens like it at the top of the heap, and they plan on staying there. To be a legitimate threat in this game, the New York offense is going to need one of the best performances or they could end up with another loss on their record and quite frankly, could miss the playoffs. Doing so for the first time since season one of this franchise. The Sam Darnold has been off his game the last couple of weeks after having a big night and the best game of his career in week 13 against the Broncos. A loss last week to the Raiders put them another game down and now they find themselves fighting for a wild card spot. Can Donald rally the Jets to win here in Baltimore? To find out, let's watch as the Jets try to keep pace with the high-flying Ravens here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Josh McCoy is back deep for the Ravens. And Daniel Carlson gets us underway here in M&T Bank Stadium. And McCoy catches it for a touchback, bringing it out to the 25-yard line. Lamar Jackson, 14 interceptions, 26 touchdowns, and just over 3,500 yards on the season. And add to that almost 400 yards rushing the ball. And Leonard Fournette takes it up the left side and he gets to the 38 yard line. A first down on the very first play for the Ravens. Jackson back to pass, throws a screen and that one is snipped out. Blake Cashman getting to Fournette before he could go anywhere, losing two yards on the play. Jackson scanning. And takes off and starts to run down the right side. Numbers a big gain to the 36-yard line of the Jets. And that is what everyone on the Jet squad is afraid of, is the running ability of Lamar Jackson. Adams takes it up the middle to the 31 for a five-yard gain. Here's a look at the offense for the Ravens. A lot of talent on that offensive line and Leonard Fournette is hopefully going to be a big part of their running game. So the Jet defense has a big job ahead of them and that one's complete to the tight end Mark Andrews at the 19. Ravens making it down the field with not much of a problem. Leonard Fournette having a nice Run up the middle, last week 22 rushes, 84 yards on the day. And another completion for a first down to the 13 year veteran Antonio Brown. Up the middle goes Adams and he breaks tackles and into the end zone he goes, giving the Ravens the first score of the game. Looking on the replay, the first few yards were open and clear, but he drug Trey Henderson and Ja'Kai Polite across the goal line with a bit of tough running. That gives the Ravens the lead, seven to nothing. Sam Darnold, 15 interceptions, 27 touchdowns, and only 3,000 yards for the season, and no running yards to speak of. And there goes Josh Jacobs out to the 36 yard line and a first down for the Jets. Jackson now in the backfield. He gets, oh, and that's a play action pass and Darnold runs the ball. Oh, my goodness, he needs to learn how to slide. 
he is going to be in a world of hurt if he doesn't learn how to do that. And Wesco picks up the rest for a first down. Now the handoff to Jackson goes up the middle to the 45 yard line of the Ravens. Second and three and this time Darnold doesn't get away. Dante Fowler Jr. gets him back at the 49. Now third and eight across the middle. It's complete to John Ross and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, New York. Ross taking advantage of the second year man, Cole Jackson, cornerback out of Minnesota. And once he made that cut at the end there, and Jackson tried to dive after him. That was all. Ross had clear sailing all the way to the end zone. Seven to seven now. And the Ravens are going to try and answer back here. Doing a fine job with Fournette making a first down. Oh, they didn't quite give it to him. And he picks it up with some tough running on the second effort out to the 39. Now second and 11 and a completion to Paris Campbell spinning his way for the first down to the 49 yard line. And Adams again with some more tough running into jet territory at the 40. Jackson back to pass and he gets dumped. Blake Cashman gets him back at the 42. Four yard loss on the play and that brings us to the end of quarter number one. Now on second and 14, Jackson all alone in the backfield. Throws a wide receiver screen, complete to Marquise Brown and he is stopped by Jamal Adams. On third and nine, Jackson drops back, throws complete to Paris Campbell, and I don't think he got the first down yardage. No, just shy, but they're going for it. Jackson gonna run the ball, and he gets stopped just shy of the line, and that is going to be a turnover on downs, bringing out Darnold and company at the 29 yard line. Jackson alone in the backfield. Fake handoff, and drifting to the left is Darnold finally throwing it and completing it to John Ross out at the 50-yard line. First down and over 1,250 yards now for the veteran. Darnold's pass down the right side, pulled in by Chris Herndon. How did he get that pass? I don't know. 21 yards on the reception though. And Josh Jacobs runs up the left side numbers and he gets a nine yard pickup out of it. Finished off by Wesco getting the first down to the 16 and into the red zone. Jackson takes it up the middle and has a five yard pickup to the 11 yard line. Now passing it into the end zone. Touchdown, John Ross. Darnold did an excellent job of looking off Wesco in the left flat. And that froze the linebacker enough to open up John Ross for the reception into the end zone and taking a 14 to seven lead. Now Lamar Jackson out of the Shotgun gives to Fournette a big yardage out to the 46 yard line and a first down for the Ravens. Jackson in the shotgun again and this time looking and getting the ball to Campbell on the left side to the 48. Third down pass play screen to Fournette and he is snowed under finally taken down by Blake Cashman fourth and six and the Ravens have to punt the ball drops at the five and out of bounds at the one 
The Jets are going to definitely start in a hole here. Wesco in motion right to left. And the ball given to Jackson, and he gets out to the nine-yard line for an eight-yard pickup. Jacobs in the backfield takes the handoff through the hole and out to the 19. First down, Jets. That is going to bring us to the two-minute warning with your score 14 to seven, Jets on top. New York needs to quicken the pace here. Herndon in motion. Darnold throws the screen pass. Jackson makes a couple of moves and is out to the 25 yard line. The Jets in a single wide out set. Darnold back to pass throws and there's defensive pass interference. Herndon did an excellent job of acting on that because Jake Ryan, I'm sorry, I don't know as though that was catchable or not. But the Jets have a first down and down goes Darnold. Dante Fowler Jr. again. Now third and 15. Darnold goes down again. This time Michael Covington making the stop. And the Ravens will get another shot at it before halftime. The first down pass complete out to Campbell and he's tackled for a five yard gain. Marquise Brown is finally pushed out of bounds by Blake Cashman. And now on a screen pass to Leonard Fournette. The tackle is made at the 41. So third and two. Back to pass. Completing to Campbell and he's on the run down the left side. Pushed out of bounds finally at the 20 yard line. 18 seconds left on the clock. The pass going to Fournette, tries to spin out of it and can't do it. That brings on Justin Tucker for a 37 yard field goal through the middle and the Ravens bring it ever closer. A 14 to 10 lead for the Jets here at halftime. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for an update. This game seems to be a little different than the last two weeks and looks like the Jets are hanging with this very talented Ravens squad. A couple of things that may be helping New York is that one, they've had almost a week and a half to prepare for this game. So watching game film and strategizing on what plays would be the most effective have helped a lot. Two, the Jets have had a little help as a result of training this week. Upgrades to both Carl Arsenault, especially in the route running area, and defensive end Trey Hendrickson got a speed rusher upgrade that helped in his acceleration off the line of scrimmage. Arsenault has yet to catch a pass in this game, but I know he's been a big distraction for the Raven defense in his improved route running ability. Something that we're keeping a close eye on is the outcome of the Bills-Eagles game. And for right now, the Bills have the upper hand at the break in this game, 17-10. There's a pretty big gap in the performance of the quarterbacks in that game with Carson Wentz having trouble throwing the ball down the field. Remember that if the Bills lose and Jets win, that brings New York even closer to an AFC East crown. To follow that game and see the action here in Baltimore, stay with us because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back everyone to M&T Bank Stadium where the Jets have been able to jump out to a 14 to 10 halftime lead. New York has taken a little better advantage of the opportunities with the football than have the Ravens. So continuing that effort here in the second half is going to be paramount if the Jets hope to come away with a win here today. Lamar Jackson is the Ravens' biggest run threat right now, so will the Jets' defense be able to hold him in check for the rest of the game? Let's find out as the second half unfolds. The Jets with the line stacked to the right side. Darnold back to pass, throws intercepted. 
Jake Ryan making the grab and a somersault landing. <laughs> Give him a 5.0. He didn't stick the landing, but that was close. It had to be a situation where Darnold just didn't see him standing there. Uh, otherwise, he probably wouldn't have thrown that ball. Now from the 23, Jackson back, throws the wide receiver screen in. Campbell steps out of bounds at the 27. Jackson now on the run with a lot of daylight all the way down to the seven yard line and the Ravens are in the red zone again. The ball given to Fournette and fights his way through the crowd and into the end zone. Touchdown Ravens. So the Ravens able to capitalize on the Darnold interception. With that score, they take the lead 17 to 14. And now we get to find out how Sam Darnold is going to react to that interception because he's only five of 11 passes on the day so far. Dropping back, drifting to the left, throws, completes this one to Arsenal out at the 42 yard line. That's a first down for the Jets. Now out of another shotgun. Back to pass and Darnold goes down. Dante Fowler gets to him again back at the 36. Pass over the middle, complete to Terry McLaurin for a first down into Raven territory at the 45. Jackson, the lone setback. Darnold back to pass, throws complete to Herndon, and he gets to the 41 for a short gain. Third and five. Darnold back to pass again throws and this one is incomplete intended for Arsenal and the Ravens get the ball back starting from their own 20 yard line the handoff goes to Fournette he's stopped at the 24 out of the shotgun formation back to pass Jackson swings it out to Fournette and he's stopped by Ramirez Fourth and five, and a punt upcoming by the Ravens. Nicola Hardman back to receive it. Makes a cut, and he's alone on that left side of the field. He is going to score, ladies and gentlemen. A 74-yard punt return by Nicole Hardman. After he made that cut to the left, there was open field all the way to the end zone. With that punt return, the Jets take back the lead, 21-17. Congratulations are being made on the sideline. After multiple three and outs, Hardman again jogs to the left and spins his way down to the 37 yard line of the Ravens. That brings us to the end of quarter number three with your score 21-17 Jets. Now Darnold back to pass, completes it over the middle to John Ross. First and 10. Now Jackson. Tries to juke his way past Thomas, and it isn't possible. Stopped at the 19-yard line. Darnold back to pass. Throws over the middle. Wesco to the one. Another red zone trip for the Jets. And Darnold goes down. Tackled at the five-yard line. Christian Wilcox gets to him. Back to pass, Darnold over the middle. Touchdown, John Ross. His third receiving touchdown of the afternoon. He's definitely taking advantage of the inexperience of Cole Jackson. Now Lamar Jackson in the shotgun. Has lots of time and finally runs out. Is stripped by Harvey Gabriel. 
And Jamal Adams makes the recovery at the 14 yard line. What a turn of events with six and some change left to go in this game. The Jets are taking control. Now at the 14. Josh Jacobs goes right and into the end zone. Touchdown Jets. That makes career number 30 for him. He's proving to be an excellent addition to the Jets running game. The line just needs to be able to throw a block or two and he is gone. Now 35-17 and this is turning into a route. The pass over the middle, complete to Marquise Brown for the first down. And the 37, the pass over the middle, and that one's complete to Paris Campbell for another first down. Jackson back again, and decides to run and runs straight into Blake Cashman. Now out of the shotgun. Jackson throws the ball again, complete. Brown with another reception for first down, this time to the 26 yard line. Out of the shotgun again. The pass goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Mark Andrews. Jordan Jenkins was on the coverage on the play, but that was just absolutely a wonderful catch by Andrews and Jenkins just couldn't do anything about it. Now, 35-24, onside kick, recovered by Ramirez and he has room. And finally, that is closed up, taken down at the 45 yard line. Three, almost four minutes left in the game. Jackson. Makes a cut and has the first down to the 33. The handoff to Jacobs and he takes it to the 29 yard line. And a timeout called by Baltimore. Pass is incomplete on third and five. Intended for Ross. And that brings out Daniel Carlson. Trying a 46 yard field goal and it's through the uprights. 38 to 24 is your score. Jackson trying to put some more points on the board before the end of this game. And it's almost intercepted by Brian Poole. Third and 10. A long pass is incomplete intended for Antonio Brown down the right side, but he can't make the grab. Fourth and 10, and they're going for it, and it's intercepted. Brian Poole finally gets his hands on one, and that takes us to the two minute warning. From the 46 yard line, Jackson takes it out to the left side, and he gets to the 41. Second and five. The ball again given to Jackson. First down into Raven territory. Finally tackled at the 25. Baltimore now out of timeouts. A fumble. And it's recovered by the Ravens. That's Angel Black making the recovery. The fourth year left end out of Nevada makes the recovery and Jefferson strips the ball to make that recovery possible. Jackson, 22 of 30, 180 yards, a touchdown and an interception in this game. Now from the 23, back to pass, throw over the middle to a wide open. Marquise Brown and tackled at the 47. Now in the hurry up offense. Jackson completes this one to Campbell on the sideline and he's out of bounds at the 32. The Jets in deep coverage. Jackson throws over the middle. Brown 
with another reception down to the five. First and goal, Ravens. The throw into the end zone, intercepted. Jamal Adams now in the zone. Picks that one off, intended for Antonio Brown. And all the Jets have to do is take a knee and this game is over. 38-24 is your final score. Although the Jets got out yarded offensively in this game, I have to say this was probably the second best performance of the season. Of course, the Denver game being the best. The Ravens gained almost 100 yards more than did the Jets, but when you look at the defensive effort as well, you can't help be impressed with the way that New York played this game. Darnold, while not up to outstanding performance standards, did play an awfully good game for him. Only throwing one interception, trying to fit the ball into way too narrow of a window, he didn't think that Jake Ryan would be there to take the ball the other way. Other than that one miscue, I can't fault his performance too much. What I was even more impressed with was the running game. Both Jackson and Jacobs, while not having spectacular days individually, were able to combine for over a 100-yard day. And it didn't hurt anything that Darnold wasn't afraid to run the ball if he had the opportunity. I think the end of the season and the impending no play off picture has a little bit to do with that. Leonard Fournette was held to under 60 yards on the ground, so I would say that the defense did their job today in that regard. In the passing game, I'm sure the Ravens defense is going to catch a little grief on this one. Allowing John Ross to catch three touchdown passes in the game definitely uncovers a flaw in the passing defense, and New York was all too willing to take advantage of that flaw. Jamal Adams, superstar that he is, and Blake Cashman proved to be absolute animals today. Whether it was tackling, getting pressure in the backfield, or intercepting the ball, both made the defense look very good for New York. Baltimore started getting pretty methodical and predictable as the game wore on, especially in the second half where they were pretty much going run, run, pass uh, to go three and out. It was only when the Ravens changed things up with the passing game that things started clicking for them just a little bit. Raven miscues were the order of the day, though, and New York did an excellent job of capitalizing on those miscues. Now to finish out the regular season, the Jets welcome the Dallas Cowboys to MetLife Stadium for the second Thursday night game in three weeks. The Cowboys are in a similar position as the Jets in that they're trying to secure a wild card spot. Philly has already won the NFC East and will most likely have a first round bye, but the Bears and Vikings are battling for the top spot in the NFC North. That means that one of those teams will most likely take a wild card spot. That leaves the Cowboys and the Saints to battle for the other wild card spot. Now, since New Orleans, they're sitting at 9-5-1, and one, so if they win, they're in. If they lose and the Cowboys can beat the Jets, the boys have a chance. Of course, in order to secure a wild card spot in the AFC, New York needs to win that game. If they lose, they're going to need a lot of help to make it into the postseason. Well, that's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications 
of new videos as they come out. The Jets came through with a win in Baltimore this week. I think the big question for the Jets' final game is will they be able to put together a winning effort against the Cowboys that are in a situation where it's basically win or go home. Staying in the hunt won't be easy for either of these teams, and so it just boils down to who will play the better game. To find out if the Jets can duplicate the performance they had today, be with us back in MetLife Stadium for the Jets and Cowboys. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.